Hello YouTube viewers far and wide, welcome back to the Matt Video Productions channel. If you're new here, I'd like to welcome you. We talk about a lot of cool stuff on this channel, so if you like what you see here today, don't forget to subscribe and like. Anyways, you regular viewers know I like to start out my videos with an interesting AI generation, and today's generation is going to be one of those uncropping, zooming out sort of videos with Dolly 2. So this was by uh, Reddit user Video Jungler, and this was their first uh, go at it. I would love to see this become a permanent Dolly 2 feature where you can zoom out these generations that already exist so you can sort of see more and more of the picture but for now we have to do it manually with in painting but it still comes out really cool and it's still really cool to see so we will take a look here and the video itself as you can see it starts out with some macro photo of what appears to be a bee in this case and then it zooms out farther and farther you can see the bees on a flower now some sort of a plant and now we're in some sort of a forest and then we zoom out farther and farther it gets crazier you see mountains in different skies and a whole planet goes out into the solar system eventually which is really interesting um so yeah it sort of creates this entire universe here just from that first picture of this bee super cool stuff i love to see different ai creations like this anyways folks if you haven't checked either of these two out here on the right hand side we've got my community discord server where you can chat with other viewers of the channel and submit prompts for generation, submit video ideas, and generally we just have a good time in the Discord channel. And here on the left-hand side, this might come as a shock to you guys, but I actually have a girlfriend, and she has been selling these soy candles lately, and I personally thought that they were good enough to deserve a little advertisement here on my YouTube channel, so if you guys want to go check them out, uh, they will be linked down in the description below, as will my Discord server. Anyways, moving into today's AI news. So, yesterday, OpenAI, of course, the creators of Dolly 2, the incredible image generation AI, released an email to Dolly 2 users that some find a little disconcerting, which we will talk about later in the video. Essentially, this AI talks about three different main things. Two of them are nothing really to write home about. First, they talk about reducing bias. They're just saying that now they've upgraded Dolly 2 to essentially generate images of people that more accurately reflect the diversity of the world's population. They've been working on this for a while. If you're in the Dolly 2 Discord server, the official one, um, they were saying like you can submit images and submit feedback on how diverse they were. So that's not as important. I believe Google is also working on this with Imogen and Party. But this middle one is really what everyone's super upset about. These are getting reduced to four images per prompt. So they say later today, but now this would be yesterday. It's already in effect for you guys watching right now. Dolly 2 is now only going to return four images instead of six. So they say this allows them to basically invite more people to experience Dolly 2. Um, and it lessens the strain on their servers. And I've had server issues with Dolly 2 in the past as a personal user, but I didn't realize that it was uh, this big of an issue. It's also important to note that when Dolly first released to that separate, like around only 2,000 people or so had access, it would just keep generating images as you were scrolling. You just get basically infinite gym images for the prompt. So then that got squeezed down to six and people were like, well, okay, it's uh, we're, we can deal with six, but now it's getting squeezed down to four. And I'm going to be honest, I don't really uh, get that many good generations out of Dolly 2. I don't think it's really there yet to only give me four images. I'm going to have to regenerate prompts, I think now, uh, just to get the images that I'm looking for, which is kind of unfortunate, to be honest. I rarely find myself picking two favorite images out of you know, the Dolly generations, usually out of the six images that are generated, I like maybe one of them. But, you know, it depends on your prompt and a bunch of other different stuff, and there's a bunch of opinions on it. Anyways, the second one was more images in history and collection, so this is a good thing. The sidebar of recently generated images goes all the way up to the past 50 generations you did, and now you can save up to 10,000 images in your collection, up from 1,000, and I did max out my 1,000 pretty quickly, so that's a good thing in general. Anyways, moving on to what the Dolly 2 community really thinks about this. Someone you can see here posted the update on the subreddit, and this guy says that he thinks that it's going to get even lower. He said he wouldn't be surprised if they eventually reduce it to three generations or even two, which is, you know, I, I, I find that even more upsetting, to be honest. People are saying it's the end of the golden age of Dolly 2. This guy does point out that the generation time is still very fast compared to alternatives. He says he doesn't mind hitting generate a second time after landing on a good prompt. But my concern with this is that we still only have 50 generations per day, so effectively, how many images we can actually produce in a day 
has been reduced by one third no less, which is kind of a decent amount. This guy says that we shouldn't really be complaining as much, and he says at some point there's going to be paid options where we could just pay for however many images we want. A lot of people mention that they wish they could just run Dolly 2 on their own system, which is a point that I hear quite a lot. I would like to point out, though, that a lot of times to run these neural networks on your own system, you need, like, a ton of VRAM, and most GPUs, most consumer GPUs, are not going to have enough VRAM just to run it in the first place, even if it's going to take a long time to process. I think my main thing with this is I'm just sort of waiting until we can have public paid access where I can just pay for however many images that I want to generate. I don't really see why they're still rolling out access like this, especially with now Midjourney is completely free to, for the public to access and it's pretty darn good. And Midjourney is taking, you know, full paid subscriptions now to its service, as well as allowing commercial use over its images as well, which is a, a high leap forward in comparison to OpenAI's Dolly 2, which is arguably a better model. However, it's way more entrapped. I feel like the safety sort of has been really dialed in for Dolly 2, and I think a public release with a paid option, you know, a free trial, then a paid option, would be just fine. I don't know if they really have to worry anymore about, you know, people making horrible things and then sharing them, because now, you know, over 100,000 people have been invited to Dolly 2, so I, I think they've handled that. As you guys can see, they also produced a blog post about the bias and safety in Dolly 2. So now, you know, they, they consider the, um program even more safe and they are you know rolling out access more they actually said that they want to expand up to a million users next you know which is 10 times what they have now and is a lot of people so i, th I think all of these different things that um open ai is doing is to definitely eventually expand access to the public i still think maybe in my personal opinion they're being a little too cautious now about it especially with how well midjourney seems to be going but i'm no uh, ceo or anything like that and speaking about midjourney moving into our final topic midjourney has been experimenting with some better models i'm pretty sure that the model is the same amount of parameters but I, this is like a more efficient way of actually rendering the image if that makes any sense Basically, if you're a Midjourney user, again, this is like a free trial, paid access, open to the public. You can put dash dash test at the end of any prompt you generate, and it will generate in this new algorithm that's supposed to be more coherent. And I was doing a little bit of testing around with this model. So this prompt was simply smiley frog, and this specifically is without the dash dash test. So this one was with dash dash test, so they're definitely different images. Um, but I don't know if this one's any more really coherent than this one, to be honest. This test really didn't prove anything. However, I started to mess around with it a little bit more, and I tried to make some lemon prompts, and this was my first non-test lemon, and it's pretty incoherent. And then this one, a little bit more coherent, is with the dash dash test. It's supposed to be better with faces, which makes sense. So I was trying to generate the, the classic Pixar lemon, and um, yeah, this is, the, this is the worst one, and then this is the new one. And it's definitely more coherent, I think, even with the upscaling, too. The upscaling is a little bit more, less messy uh, than it used to be for Midjourney. I think that definitely shows in the end results here that you're seeing from the Midjourney prompts. I also tried it on a brick prompt that I also used in Dolly 2 and got some decent results, as well as a prompt of a cherry blossom, which I think came out pretty darn good and coherent for Midjourney. When browsing the Midjourney community for different prompts, it's difficult to tell which ones are which in terms of if they use the dash dash test new method, but I have been seeing quite a lot more, you know, generations of human faces lately and stuff that have been coming out really good. Like this one's fantastic for Midjourney. This one also came out really nice. So I've just been seeing a lot more faces and stuff in general being generated through Midjourney and uh, yeah, things are coming out very well. And Midjourney is definitely getting really competitive with Dolly 2, especially, uh, like I mentioned before, um, with their ability to now charge users for unlimited use or whatever they want to charge. Whereas Dolly 2 users are stuck at 50 prompts a day in closed access. You got to wait a ton of time for an invite. But yeah, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found it useful and maybe entertaining. Check out some of my other videos. Yesterday, we had a really fun video about a bunch of different uh, video game AIs and technology that is upcoming in the future that's going to, I think, at least change video games forever. So yeah, check out the rest of the channel, check out the Discord, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.